This is Take 5 with Bentley, Nevada. In the studio with me today is Darren Evans, Global Hardware Commercial Leader for Bentley, Nevada. And Darren has been very focused. In fact, his entire world, I think, is focused around Orbit 60 for about the last three, three and a half years. And uh, Darren's been in the studio now for a couple of episodes, and we've got a lot more ground to cover. So, Darren, uh, where I'd like to shift to next is to talk a little bit about the size of the Orbit 60. It's different than prior Bentley Nevada systems. Uh, as a matter of fact, you can buy it in a 3U height. And for people that aren't familiar with those kind of European things, U is a, is a rack unit. And a 3U would be kind of what you'd expect to see in almost like professional audio equipment. What's the significance of this smaller form factor? Yeah, so when we started designing Orbit 60, one of the luxuries we had is the, the really the improvement microprocess uh, in the electric side, you know, the microprocessors, the circuit design, everything is much more compact now than it was historically. So we were able to really reduce the electronic components and in, in the the board design size to accommodate a much larger form, a much smaller form factor system. That and coming up with a creative design on removing the BNC connectors on the front of the system we were able to really take this down to a three U size. So essentially for the same amount of channels you could put in a 3,500, we could put that into a three U orbit 60. Now that's, you, you make an interesting point. Um, and a lot of times, I guess it doesn't occur to us that, you know, things like the BNC connectors take up quite a bit of space. And if you're going to put something in that three U height, you probably don't have room for all those BNC connectors. So I'm going to, rather than kind of a spoiler alert, I'm going to save that discussion on buffered outputs for another episode. But suffice to say, you've figured out a pretty clever way to deal with that issue on the uh, Orbit 60. Absolutely. <laughs> now, the 3U height allows you to put pretty much the same number of channels that would have fit typically in a, a 3500 rack you just mentioned. A 3500 is what, a 6U height? That's correct, yes. So half the height, about the same width, 19 inches. What about the depth? Is the, that changed at all? Yeah, it's about 30% shallower than an Orbit uh, or 3500 as well. So if you're thinking of compact junction box design out in the field, cabinet sizes go down pretty dramatically. Well, also, you know, for anybody who's ever had their head in a cabinet, just the more room you can create for all the wiring and the panduit and everything else is uh, is nice. So that 30% comes in handy, I would think, in a, in a lot of different ways. With the reduced size, the reduced depth, you've, you've, you've also done some things with variations in that. And maybe we could talk about those. Is there, in 3500, there was, a, I think you called it a half rack. Is there something similar or analogous in Orbit 60? Uh, yes. Yeah, so there's three different, uh, really, options you can order the Orbit 60 in. There's a 3U 20-slot configuration. There's a 3U 11-slot configuration. And there's also a 6U 28-slot configuration. Okay. So kind of depending on the, the size of your equipment and the, the quantity of points you're bringing in, you would have three different options of systems to choose. So if you, the 6U is, is intriguing because I, I know the width would be the same as a 3,500, 19 inches. The height would be the same. And the depth is, you said, about 30% less. So that suggests you can pull out a 3,500 rack and you can slide a 6U Orbit 60 into its place. Yeah, so very much thought was put around the retrofit side of an existing system. And so as you talked about earlier on the power supply side, we have removed the internal power supplies out of the Orbit 60, and there's just power input modules, which are 24 volt DC. So on the back side of the 6U chassis, we have within that envelope of what a 3500 would have been, we can mount the power supplies, external power supplies right within that same space. So yes, absolutely, completely backwards compatible in the same space of a, of a 3500. Okay, well, a lot of thought went into that, clearly. So lots more ground to cover on the Orbit 60 platform. We're glad to have Darren Evans in the studio with us, and we're going to continue that discussion in the next episode. You've been listening to Take 5 with Bentley Nevada, a Baker Hughes business. <laughs>